So I want to make a casual video, uh, Lessons from the Couch. And I gave a lot of thought to what might be helpful. And I watched a video from Tech Lead recently. So Tech Lead is a ex-Google software developer, and he's got a great YouTube channel. His content's great. He's very funny. Um, he's got some sad stories, too. Check him out. But one of them was... Um, how he lost $350,000 day trading. And being a trader myself and, and being a day trader, um, obviously I was intrigued. I watched the video and I listened to his discussion and his rant and his rambles. So I just want to explore that a little bit. You hear often that the first thing everyone needs to learn when they're trading or investing or whatever is to cut their losses. Isn't that there's a lot of different ways to do it though. It's a dollar value or within a certain time frame. People have a hard time doing that. And that's what led to his losses. But there's one other factor. There's actually two other factors. The stock market, while it looks simple, you open up an account, you throw some money in it, um, you look at some charts or you read some news and you make some decisions and you, you know, make a bet. Um, to be profitable, it's a difficult game. It is a game. People say, oh, it's not a game. It's business. It's serious. It's still a game. There's a, a risk and reward, and there's a bunch of other participants, and you're essentially taking money from each other, trying to keep your cost down. But the first thing that happens with the market is it attracts a lot of really smart people. So you get doctors and dentists and lawyers, engineers, computer scientists, um, all these people that have great educations, um, maybe they're generally you know, in the top of the IQ tier or what have you, and they succeeded in life because they either solved difficult problems, they made it a career, they have a good education, you know, years of school and that kind of thing. So generally, deep down inside, they believe themselves to be really smart. So they see the stock market as just this problem they should be able to solve. But trading in the markets, a better analogy is, I mean, it's a career. You have to learn about it. There's um, potentially years of training. There's so many different facets. Tape reading, uh, watching charts, having the experience under pressure with real money at risk and trading, and obviously psychology and worrying about your emotions. But all these smart people think they're just going to be able to jump in because they were so successful in other parts of their life that they're going to be able to just figure out the stock market and, and make money off their money. And it often doesn't work that way, and that's what happened with Tech Lead. Amazingly successful in his career, YouTube, everything, but going to the stock market, he blew up in a big way. So, no, he didn't cut his losses. If you watch his video, he uh, put on a bunch, bunch of different positions and a bunch of different commodities, and he rode a downtrend that didn't give him a break. It never reversed, he couldn't recoup his losses. So that's a lesson too. It's not only don't cut your losses, but realize there are trends. And trends uh, can go on for a very long time. There's an old phrase that says something like, uh, the market can stay irrational longer than you can stay solvent. So the market does go into periods of trends. And if you're on the wrong side of that and you don't get out, it will not come back and get you to break even. It happens all the time. Either it doesn't matter if it's futures or stocks or bonds or currencies or gold. It doesn't matter. They trend. Um, if you follow some of the, the trend followers in the 80s, the turtle traders, they made a lot of money from those trends. And they did what's really hard to do is they took a lot of small losses until they were caught a trend. And then they um, added to their position as the trend continued to grow. And they wrote it for a super long term and made amazing gains. So don't think that you can jump into the market without an education in the markets and some experience just because you succeeded in other fields. Always remember to cut your losses and realize that the market can trend for a very long time. With that, the thing that you have to tell yourself going into anything in the market, there is always risk. Whether it's real estate or the stock market, there is always risk. You don't make money from nothing. You make money by participating and um, your capital is at risk, your equity in that in real estate is at risk. 
So with that, treat your investment like a business and realize that every decision that you make, you are never always going to be right. You don't know which, we'll say bets, I try not to use that word, but which, which choices, which investments, you will never know upon entrance which ones are going to be successful and not. You can have a track record, um, like me, with scalping and day trading and that kind of thing, and say, oh, I, I know X percentage of my trades generally are profitable, X percentages are not. Um, but you still don't know. Every individual trade has this amount of variance to it, and you have to execute no matter what. Treat it like a business. The lesson is you enter into an investment or put yourself at risk, and you you say to yourself, okay, I know that not every trade I make is going to be a winner or profitable. I'm going to execute according to my plan, which is get out at this amount of loss or get out after this amount of time or scale out and cut my losses and, and trim them down or average my price or whatever. But just to sit there and ride a downtrend for months, like you give a $80,000 or to a child to just go drive on the highway. And that's kind of what happens when you take a bunch of money and you go in the stock market, one of the most competitive arenas. So you have to practice, you have to train, you have to learn the rules, you have to understand the risk for real. Um, tech lead, I think he understands the risk with uh, not getting out of something that was trending against you for a very long time. And everyone else should take that lesson too. A super smart guy very successful in every facet of his life, thought he was going to jump in there and he had a bunch of money and he got demolished. So don't let it happen to you. I hope it helps. Make good decisions. Stay true to your stops. Get out of losers. And know when if a trade isn't going your way, you're going to give up on it and look for a new idea. That's all you have to do. That's it for now. I'll see you next time.